I picked up the adjustable blade guard for the HM122. It doesn't come with it standard, but it is an option you can buy. Um, I have lots of little kids, and just having that much open blade just scares me. I mean, they're not supposed to be within 20 feet of the sawmill when it's running, but um, things happen, and that's cheap insurance. Um, also, I cut a lot of small logs, and uh, so I bought a small mill, right? Um, small logs for a small mill. Um, and so it just it seemed like the right thing to do. Um, I, you know, the, the big mills, the real mills have that type of uh, contraption. It's worth the time and expense for, for a reason, right? Um, pretty easy to install uh, once you figure it out. It just bolts on to where the, uh, the old guard blade guide had uh, set. And uh, then you put the, the bearing blocks and stuff like that uh, back on. You just grab it here and you just move it wherever you want. There's a little detents. Little detents here. Um, so it, it'll stay put and stuff. Um, Cause there's a little grease fitting here. No ball bearing in it, so it can just run out. I grabbed an inch of tube. If you just grabbed an inch of tube from here um, with the old setup, and I moved it to there, and that what seems to really work. I don't need that much. I could probably take about half of that away. Um, but that way, the water gets on the blade. My uh, blade guide didn't come with the manual, or at least if it did, I uh, didn't hold on to it, and I can't find it. So when I got to this uh, project, I, um, I was really confused because I ended up with a bag full of parts, and it took me a long time of just trying to figure out where everything sets um, before I figured out where all the bits part come from. Um, you're probably looking at the, the bigger parts. And best I can figure is these are duplicates of what's already here. Of these, these, and then there's the um, bushings are inside as well. Um, that was throwing me for a loop. Uh, this I think I have right. I just had to think of having put this, you know, the mill together, trailer together, all the things together, it kind of think about how everything else went together. Um, when we have a lock washer or lock nut with not, that's not a flange, we get a washer. So everywhere there's a unflanged lock nut, nylock, we put a washer. So this is the roller. See, it's a, it goes together like that. And it'll shoot through this hole. And that's going to be the roller assembly for here. So I think I figured that out. This goes here. I'm assuming there's a washer there because there's a washer that that fits. And I can't find out another way for that washer, but that seems like I'm going to drop that washer. It just, you know, the plastic against this uh, rubber just doesn't seem like it's necessary. Um, what else? What else? Okay, so this is the detent that goes in here. This guy here. Doop, come on. That goes in here. I recognize that from up here. Um, the older version had that same fitting that would drop into here. 
but with this the one I have it's slightly different but I recognize that from other videos so that goes there and that must be the jam nut um, to t tighten it so I think I got that figured out um, this I'm not sure I'm happy with I don't I don't know if this is right so this with a washer feels to me like it should go on the other way and that taper should be out and then this should go in but then this head doesn't fit well um, here so this is the only way I could figure out that that goes um, and then it's going to tighten up and then um, this basically becomes a stud that hits this so you can't overextend everything all the way um, this Turn it upside down. The only nut that the only bolt that this nut fits is this one here. So that suggests to me that this is the jam nut to hold these together. Um, even though we don't have a jam nut on the existing. Um, yeah, we don't have a jam nut on the existing. We come around. Right? No jam nut. Unless, unless there's supposed to be a jam nut, and I just missed that in the instructions. Um, which very well could be. But there's no jam nuts there. So, there's that. But I think that's that. And then this guy. Uh, it took me forever to figure out this guy here. Um, I'm looking, what, 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 what needs greasing? I mean, these wheels need greasing, right? But that, it took me a while to realize that there's no bead and spring in there. So it's, it's empty, so everything comes through. And then instantly I thought, oh, that's the new watering mechanism. So instead of doing something like this and I cut a little bit of hose um, that works. So I think, I think I figured out all the pieces and how they go together. And we have extras when we're upgrading. So these four bolts come out. This comes off. This gets attached there. This mechanism gets attached here. Um, the, this piece here goes through here, but there's going to be enough clearance that I can run, I could just bolt this guy right here up. I think that's how it needs to go. Um, I'm going to put it together now, uh, under that assumption and we'll see how it works. Oh, and then I took the, the wheel off, um. It's right here, uh, just so I could work on stuff. So um, I'm going to put this on real quick and see if I'm right. All right, I took this assembly off. This was here. And what we ended up with was um, short bolts and then no long bolts. Um, so that's what this is about. What we have is, it's basically everything you need. I was right. Um, so these are all the bits that need to go in. Uh, they're duplicative of that. But that's why we have four and why I couldn't figure it out. It's, it's what you need. It did exactly right. And then the stuff that came out is, is discarded. It's not used. So forward motion. Yay. We have the arm installed loosely. Uh, these four bolts, right? This little guy, it doesn't actually spin. But here's the um, adjustments we could reach and we can make adjustments for this if we needed to. Um, it's still kind of in there loose, snugged up but not tight because we gotta get it to track straight uh, when we had the blade in. Um, we could take some adjustment in, in with the, the 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 bushings here but we need this 
to track straight back and forth. Um, and then also, if you look at like where the set bolt is here, it's kind of, let's draw a straight line, right? Kind of cut that, uh, cut that bolt in half. Um, we want to be able to do the same thing here. So you see how I have it, so it's too far back, but I have it so I can come forward just a little bit. So there's a rough where it needs to be. Um, we need some some adjustment so we can set the, uh, the uh, roller bearing for the back of the blade. We need to be able to adjust it forward and back. So there needs to be a little bit of a play. I probably can pull this piece forward maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter inch, um, and still be right. Because we don't want to come so far forward but we hit this fitting. Um, on the other side, it looks sharp. It frames the, uh, the logo really well, right? The serial plate. Um, let's just grab it and give it your adjustment, right? So, next step is to put the uh, bearing, not the bearing, the uh, flywheel on and uh, get a blade on and make adjustments. One uh, adjustable blade guide later. It is installed. It is fiddly because you got to set this arm, right? So you probably want to pull it all the way back, set it. Uh, but don't tighten it. Run it all the way forward. That gets you your pitch there. Um, and it takes about three three times back and forth, back and forth, until you get it all right. And then tightening, loosening, tightening, loosening. Because when you tighten stuff up, things want to walk on you. Yeah, you get it. Um, this just doesn't quite feel right to me. But it seems to work. I think that's as wide as it was before. I think so. And then on this side, pretty easy. There's little detent clicks. Tick, 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 you know. Um, yep. So I think uh, that project is done. Now to take this dull blade off. I just put a dull blade back on because I didn't want to cut myself. Um, take this dull blade on, put in a new blade on. And it should be ready to for cutting tomorrow. Cool.